Hey YouTube land, well this morning we're out here on another dull day. It is supposed to rain and we're going to take a look at the Bugs 4W. Now a lot of people have been waiting for this drone. I guess everybody is waiting for the next best drone and the Bugs 4W is, well, it's the next best drone now. It is a rather large drone. I will say that. I was kind of surprised at the size. It looks like they became smarter making this drone. Remember in the olden days on the Phantom they put ultrasonic sensors on the bottom? DJI used to do that. And then they stopped doing that. They started to put like everything with light. So everybody knows if you buy a DJI drone, don't really fly them at night because those sensors that require light, they don't work very well in the dark. So, here I'll head this way. Uh, so what Bugs 4, what MJXRC did with the Bugs, they put ultrasonic and they put landing lights. So obviously if you're flying at night with the landing lights, the ultrasonic sensors will sense the ground in the darkness and bring the drone down nice and smoothly and land nicely. Without that, your drone has no idea when it's on the ground and it's just gonna bounce all over the place. Now they've added a weird range to this Bugs 4W. It's like one mile, 1 1.6 kilometers. There's no way it's gonna get that distance, but that's just me saying it. Someone's gonna prove me wrong. Also, the Bugs 4W has a 2K camera. So a 2K camera means basically that you get 2K photo, and in this case, it even says you get 2K video, but there is no electronic image stabilization. Now I have flown this indoors and the video and the drone was amazingly stable. So uh, yeah, let me just show you that video now. Here we have the Bugs 4W indoors. Here's what it's filming. And take it down for landing. There we go, it should land by itself. Nice and soft. There we go, it should shut right off. Nice. All right, so the next thing to do is, well, take the Bugs 4 out and uh, fly it. Here we go. Here's the Bugs. You can see it's a quite a large boxy looking drone. And if we pull front to back, back to front, we can get the arms out. There it is. Can you see that GoPro? Look at, all, look at the size of this baby. Now we do have a 2K camera in the front, but for everybody's information, it's not electronic image stabilization. So when your drone does this or like this, your image will do that. But look, if I vibrate it, you can see, maybe see it. The camera has a vibration dampener in it. All right, let's power it on. It's got one of these really cool remotes with a nice little display on it. Like all MJXRC drones, you have to do the little calibration dance. So we just spin it till we hear a beep or something. Hold the nose up, spin it around again, or you can hold the nose down, it doesn't matter. And if we see all solid lights on the bottom, we've done it correctly. I can't really tell. Yeah, solid red solid green we're good okay we start the bugs go let's move it over till we see the four where are you four and there it is there we go hey it looks like my map works too check that out okay i've got the bugs down here this is a normal bugs drone so normal bugs drone after you do the calibration you just press this button over here that'll unlock the motors now you can hit a button to take off i usually just do it manually it says i have 15 satellites i don't know if you can see it on there 15 satellites so uh, let's go up Whoa, that thing is powerful. <laughs> okay, there's a warning. Be careful, this thing is powerful. It goes up fast. All right, so there we are. And uh, if I put on the record, it's, if you look at my little trees over here, it's kind of breezy. So uh, this thing here, this is how it's handling in the wind. It should do well. It has an optical flow underneath to shoot down. Plus it's got the ultrasonic sensors. Here we have the drone up here. You have the little landing lights underneath. Turn them on. Turn them off. I'll bring it down low to the ground with its little sensors. It should fly nice. Let me uh, fly it through some obstacles here. And there's, you should see some video as I'm moving forward through obstacles. Going along. There we are. It's going along this way. And bring it back to me. Very nice, smooth flying drone. I can see why this is going to be a popular drone. Let's bring it down. There we go. So now we can look on top of it. All right, let's try out some of the features. Let me show you the camera quick. I know it's kind of dull out today. I have a little dial here and I can move it down. Let's see if I get this. Whoa, too far down. Now I'm looking at the chalk drawings on the ground and I can move it all the way back up. And there I am. Whoa, too high up. If you go full up, there is the props. We don't want that. So let's bring it down a little bit right about there. You also have, if I look at my little controller on the side, can you see that? GPS on or GPS off. I turn the GPS off. When the wind blows, the drone will just move now with the wind. Okay, let's try some of the features. There's a lot of obstacles around here. I'll just take it up a bit. Let's try the first one, follow me, which is right here. 
So you can see on my screen, follow me. I'll say, yes, it should follow my phone. There it is, it's looking. Where is your phone, it says? Where are you? I'm over here. All right, so I'm gonna walk over here, go right by this tree. It's coming to me, I'm running. Here we go. So this is the follow me mode. I don't know how it is. How is it, guys? You tell me. All right. It also has an orbit me. So let me uh, take it up higher so it does the orbit. And uh, I want to orbit me. So I hit on my button orbit and I say start. I haven't set up anything in it. So it should just start orbiting. I'll just stand back a bit. So it's going around, misses that tree because I'm such a goofball. I should have checked my surroundings first. <laughs> and uh, that's the orbit me. How's that working? Waypoints sometimes work. So I'm down here. Let me just hit the waypoints. Oh my God, look at the map. The waypoints work. So let me zoom in. This is pretty cool. I've never had it work all the time. Okay, I'm gonna hit the little button, little hand on the right. I'm gonna draw some waypoints. See that little green line? And that's it. Those are my waypoints. And I'll just take it up because I don't know how high that is. And I'm gonna say go. So down at the bottom it says submit. And I've submitted it says yes go baby go so wherever I drew that line that's where it's gonna go oh did I draw it that way see I have no idea I'll probably drew it over there so here I'll go walk over to it because I didn't tell it to come back to me so it's just doing its thing up there you know when it comes to waypoints I really should pay attention look at this I drew I flew it right into a tree or something over here <laughs> what's going on over there Oh no, okay, it's all right, it's all right. Oh no, 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 how close is it getting to that thing? Oh, don't fly into it, no. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, it's up there. All right, so I'm having a panic attack here. Just, I'm just trying to let it go without stopping it. If you want to stop it, you just hit the waypoints button again. All right, so that's good. I think that's good enough. I've done enough damage for today. Here, I'll turn the waypoints off. All right, let's bring it back down to me. Should be still recording here. There I am, I'm on the structure. Look how smooth this is. This is probably one of the smoothest flying drones around and it is breezy today. Now it does have speeds on here. It says I'm in low speed. I was in high speed the whole time. Okay, so this is what I should have been in. This is what you want. This is the filming speed. Okay, that's low speed. That's for filming, that's better. I should have had it at that. So this is how it flies in low speed. It's pretty nice. I've got a circling here. I'll have it come over my head. There we go, low speed. And let me do the same thing with high. Let me just bring it back to me. I'll put it in high speed now, hold this button in. There, it's in high speed now, same thing. There we go. That should be the fastest speed. Yeah. Whoa, as I smash into that tree. <laughs> Got him. You know, myself and trees, not good. I'm gonna take it up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna smash this thing. All right, okay, so high speed is pretty darn quick. Here, I've got it coming at me now in high speed. There we go, I've got it higher this time. All right, and of course, if I put on the landing lights, now it'll look cooler in high speed. As it goes over, you see little lights on the bottom. They are extremely bright. Let me bring that down. All right, next thing to try is, uh, let me try the range. Okay, so I'm out here. Uh, way over there, there's a farmer's field. You see the farmer's you can see it far, far over there. There's like a farmer's silo at a farmer's house. Let's see if it can make it there. I've got it in high speed so I can go fast. There we go. Okay, so I'm heading out to that farmer's field. It's going full blast as fast as I possibly can go. I can see it. It's a black dot up in the sky. And see if I can make it out to the silo. It says my range right now, I'm at 300 meters. Still going, range, I still see it, a black dot in the sky. I'm at 400 meters, still going. I'll try to take it up to half a kilometer, 500 meters. There's the farmer's house and his silo. And I'm at 500 meters, so there we go, guys. All right, so I'm gonna do the return to home. And now we wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. 
So I can see the black dot coming back. I think I've mentioned it, if you haven't heard me mention in previous videos, in Canada, we're allowed to fly drones far, uh, but we have to keep them in visual range. So this one, I can see it half a kilometer out. See, I'm, I'm looking at it now. I don't know if my GoPro picks it up, it's, it's coming back. Uh, so I flew it 500 meters, which is half a kilometer. I'll put what that is in feet below. That's as far as I took it. I don't want to take it any farther because it's a black dot and uh, well, it's kind of hard to see. Oh yeah, it's going back to where I took off. So I got to go over there. <laughs> Anyways, um, so I'm pretty impressed. It actually, there's no other drone I've had that's a beginner drone, a uh, low cost drone that can actually fly 500 meters with no issues. So that's, uh, that's pretty impressive. Will it do one mile like they say? I don't know. Uh, and I can't test that. So somebody else on YouTube will test that for you. It should use its ultrasonic sensors to land. Here, let me put the landing lights on so it looks cool. So it's gonna use its ultrasonic sensors to land and it should come down very, very smooth. Not like a lot of low cost drones that they kind of hump the ground or bounce, but this one should come down nice. Watch this. Well, it did a little humping, but it was very, very nice. That's what the sensor is, so that's pretty decent. And I think the, the lights turned off. Let me just check, I haven't turned them off yet. They automatically turn off when it lands, everything shuts off. One thing really quick I wanted to show you on this drone, this is your settings you can set up. So you have parameter settings, you have max flight, I don't have it uh, on, and max flight distance, I don't have it on. And your radius, I have it set to five, that's when you're doing the orbit uh, detection. This is for all your features on your drone and your flight data, there you go. Shows date today and my distance was 523 meters, altitude of 40 meters, and there's my longitude and latitude. All right, so the Bugs 4W, they did a really good job on the packaging because I think they know that this is gonna be a very popular drone. A lot of people are going to buy this and they packaged it in a way that makes it look high quality. They even included a charger. The charger for this here Bugs 4W is really, really good. You have to check it out. So uh, I'm gonna show you a quick unboxing right now. Uh, check out everything that comes in this and then come back to me and I'll give you my final thoughts on the Bugs 4W. And now a super quick unboxing of the Bugs 4W. Opening the box we see more boxes. Let's start on this side. So over here we have a little box that uh, has some stickers in it and it seems like uh, you have the quick start guide and the owner's manual. The box on this side, let's flip it over and see what's in this one. Well that's different. Here you have everything nicely sandwiched in plastic. You have your spare props, they're all foldable, and uh, your little Phillips screwdriver. That's different. Interesting. So we have the controller and the drone. What's in this box? Let's open this one. This box contains USB cables in here. And check this out. Look what's in here. You get a charging station. Yeah, you can put your battery, battery one and battery two in this. That is different. And nice. This battery charger is actually pretty sweet. I just read the instructions on it, tried it out, and I was really impressed. So this comes only with a USB-C cable. And the reason it has that is if you look on the side, you have two USB-C inputs, but you only need one. If you use two, like two separate power inputs, USB-C, then you can put two batteries in and charge them at exactly the same time. If you only have one cable, it will charge one battery, then the second battery. So that's not the cool thing. Here's the cool thing. Flip it this way. See that? Looks like all black, nothing exciting. Let me plug the USB-C in it. Here we go. What happens? Ta-da! We see two batteries. Well, there's no battery in it, so I would say they're empty, right? Let's put one of our little batteries in here. Now, one thing I thought was pretty cool is on the top of the battery, this is, see this, you have a little uh, pressy thing here and a little pressy thing there, so it stays in your drone. The same thing is true in order to get the battery in here. It has to be locked in place. So I'll put a battery in, and we'll push it down and lock it in place, and watch what happens. There we go, now it's charging the battery. And when it's fully charged, it will be all four green lights. If I had a second battery, when it finishes this one, it would go to that one because I only have one USB-C cable. If I had two cables, they would charge at the same time. Isn't that pretty sweet? Let's pull out the drone, it's quite large in size. Even when it's folded, that is one heck of a big drone. Look at this, here's the size of my hand. And well, here's two hands. And look at this drone, this thing is large in size. It's not small. Let me just show you something. This is the X103W. It's the little brother to the Bugs 4. And watch when I stick them side by side. Huge difference in size, wow. This I could not fit in my pocket. So it's your typical unfolding drone. 
pull the front to the back and then the back to the front. There's the bugs four. And if I take the little brother and stick the backs together, there we go. There's the little brother on top of the bugs four. Very small. So uh, yeah, you put this side by side and you have a massive difference in size. All right, let's take a quick look at the Bugs 4W. So, of course, we have brushless motors. We have really nice square LED lights down here, foldable props, just what you'd expect on a quality professional type drone. Looking on the side, on this side, let me just move the arm back so you can see it. Micro SD card goes in there. And then going around to the front, you have the camera gimbal. And if I push it, it has some vibration dampening built into it. And then if I go to the other side, I don't see anything. And if I go to the rear, that's the battery. And if I squish these two, I should be able to pull it out. And the battery is nicely labeled, 7.6 volts, 3,400 milliamps. Looking at the top of the drone, we have some branding and let's make it look shiny new. Take off the protective plastic. There we go. And now it's nice and shiny new. Ooh. Front of the drone will be your power button. Let's look at the bottom of the drone. Little warning tag here just tells you to remove all the plastic off everything, the camera lens and your sensors. So there's plastic over everything. You have to take that off. So on the bottom, we have the LED lights in the back. Same as the little X103W drone, which is really sweet to have. Going up here, it looks like it's an optical flow camera, but it is a super tiny one. Let me bring that close. See how small that is? And then these are ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic's always used for distance. It tells the drone if there's something in the way when it's coming down. And of course on the front is your 2K camera. Take the plastic off the LED lights, plastic off the camera lens. Next we have the controller and let's get the plastic off that too so it looks nice and shiny new. This is the same controller as on the X103W. Power button's right here. When you turn it on, you have a really nice Mavic display. See that? Isn't that the nicest thing ever? Very nice controller. Use this on the X103. And I will say, I really like it. That's your power button. That's your lock and unlock the motors. That's your camera and your video button. Over here is your return to home. On the front on this side is your landing lights and your speed control. This side is your takeoff and land, and this dial right here is to move your camera up and down. Now, unlike a Mavic controller, you put your phone here on a Mavic controller. On this one, it goes on this side. Just pull this out, and the phone goes in there. Batteries in the drone. This is a pretty big drone. Let's see if I can fit it on my little way scale down here. What do we have? Whoa, that's heavy. 638 grams. And now my final thoughts on the Bugs 4W. Well, if you've been watching my channel for quite some time, you know I love Bugs drones, MJXRC. They make really good drones and they all fly the same. In other words, when you know how to fly one, you can fly any of them because they all use the same sort of control system. To sum up quickly, what do I think about the Bugs 4W? I'll say I'm impressed. It's better than I thought it would be. I think due to its size, it is quite large and it's really heavy. Due to that size, it's very stable in the wind, which surprised me. And it was such a smooth flyer, very easy to control flying around. You will notice on the video, this video here is recorded in 30 frames per second, 4K video. This shoots 2K video at only 20 frames per second. I had to check that on my computer, but I was only getting 20 frames a second. I don't know why they didn't go up to 24. 24 is cinema. You know, they were so close to it. If this was 30 frames a second, it would be DJI buttery smooth, but it's only 20 frames a second. So when I put that 20 frames a second video in this 4K video, which is at 30 frames per second, you might get not stuttering, but it just might look like it's not as super smooth as it should be. But anyways, I watched it back and it, it looked really good to me regardless. So I don't have any complaints about this drone. The flight time is about 22 minutes. The range, I only sent it out to just over 500 meters and I had to bring it back because it was turning into a small dot. Hopefully somebody will post a YouTube video showing this thing going like super far, 800, 900 meters. Who knows? Now, the only issue I could see people having with the Bugs 4W is the size. There's the size of the Bugs 4W and this is a Mavic 2 Pro. Look at the difference in size when I bring them together. You see, there's my head over here. You see them? Look at the, look at the bugs. It, it's huge, it's this big thing. And if I push it like this, there's the backs. And I'll flip it upside down. There's the fronts. You can see the Bugs 4 is a pretty big drone. So when you're going on vacation, you will fit this easily in a backpack or some sort of side bag, but you won't fit it in your pocket. As noted in the video, I really like this controller. It's like the Mavic controller with the display. I don't know why DJI can't stick this display on even the low cost, like the Mavic Air or the Spark type drones. No, they have to say, oh, it's so expensive. We can only put it on the Mavic 2. And here we have 
MJXRC sticking it on inexpensive drones. What's up with that? All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put links below to where this drone is on sale on the Geekbind website. There is a coupon, so you can get it at a discount. Check it out, it is below. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I enjoy the thumbs up and uh, we'll catch you in the next video with more drone videos. And if you have any questions on the Bugs 4W, just post them below and I'll get back to you and answer them as fast as I can. All right, take care guys. We'll catch you in the next video.